I do believe that the act of creativity is a spiritual provocation. Even when you look at traditional art from Africa, a lot of it is a spiritual manifestation. My creative process starts with a sketch. I'm always thinking, and I, I live more in my head than I do outside of my head. There's an expression that says that the, the sitter gives the photo, not the photographer taking the photo. So the relationship between myself and the model is quite important for me. My main focus is not the sexuality of the woman or the exotic sense of the woman, but it's really presenting the woman with a very fierce and very strong, you know, intensity. She's like a reflection of me, this is how I see it. In a way, she is the portal sort of for my visual diary and my experiences. When I'm shooting and creating this work, it's like a trance. What's important for me uh, when we're shooting is really not only energy, but the sharing of love, because it's almost like moving with one body to make this whole thing come into reality. When we're drinking coffee together, when we're eating together, so even my son will make a contribution to that. We're, we're functioning with a, with a sense of purpose, and that purpose is how do we make something magical happen. The link with nature is quite important. And as Africans, we're connected to nature. I live in an area which is basically we're on top of the mountain. You hear the hyenas, especially if you're you know, near the forest and so forth. I'm an urban person, but I like the serenity of being within nature. The best times for me, for my solitude, is really like when I go on these long road trips. You just have the earth, the sky, and you within that space. And that means that you're confronted to go inward, especially when you're encountered with the silence of the audio and the silence of the visual. The role of art as a form of advocacy for me is quite important. I wanted to utilize my art for a sense of purpose outside of just hanging my work, you know, on white walls in galleries or museum. It was really important for me to do the Water Life Collection for Water Aid. I'm looking at a very specific issue, which is you know, not having access to direct water as actually having an impact on the society. I chose the Danakil because it's almost like poetic to me, but at the same time, terrain that was very difficult to shoot in, to really understand how people live in these conditions. And that emptiness, almost like painting on a white canvas. I think as artists, uh, one of our key roles is really to share not just our ideas, but also certain issues that are in contemporary Africa. As I dig deeper within myself, and as I present what is inside of me, it resonates quite broadly to the audience that people find these connecting points. The true testament of an artist, in my opinion, is when you break boundaries and when you express an idea that is able to uh, provoke the onlooker. I've chosen to address specific things, especially around the issues of women. Just as we have you know, the challenges of the continent, we also have the beauty of it. You know, we have the history, the heritage. There's so many components. The key thing is I'm not here to, uh, to provide answers. What I'm trying to do is really to shift the perception and to present it in a way that they haven't seen before. Mm -hmm.